of Urbanism at the Downtown Austin Alliance. Thank you so much for being here. I'm glad to be here, Jennifer. Thank okay, you. Okay, on the first, on launch day. On launch day. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Okay, so let's delve really right into this. What I love about it, it's, it's a solutions-based approach 100%. to solving a problem yes. um, that we've been seeing. How will this really help local businesses and creatives find affordable spaces yes. downtown, and how will you help make those spaces affordable? I think acting as a media person and, and a company in between, like right, like finding these spaces downtown and working with the property owners, and as they sit vacant, helping them to find solution-based opportunities to provide their spaces, and then we have community members, activators, creatives, uh, local businesses, small entrepreneurs that need the space. And so being a management organization, coming in, creating programs, application systems, mm -hmm. um, really reaching out to the community, promoting um, the program, and inviting them in and making it accessible for them to, to get into these spaces, making them visible and having them to be able to activate is, 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 is very important for us. And so I think the program, is it, dives into that and mm -hmm. creates that solution for everybody. Okay, and let's talk about accessibility. I'm glad that you brought that up because what is the application process? Yes. What does a process look like for a creative, for a small business to get into one of these spaces? Yes, yeah, so we've created the program about a year. We've we've dived in developing the program. We've created XOXO uh, Austin dot, dot, xoxodowntownaustin.com, okay. which is a website that you can go to, and there's a wealth of resources that you can kind of get on there, apply, apply, propose what you want to activate, how you want to activate, mm -hmm. and if you're a property owner and you want to donate your space or provide your space to the folks that need space, then you can also apply as well. So we've got different opportunities online for you to apply for, so that's okay. how we're able to gain that access to people. Okay, and this really seems like a two-prong approach because not only is it helping the creatives and the small businesses, yes. but it's also bringing in more traffic downtown and really boosting the economy in that area? Hundred percent. I think uh, the talent that we have here in Austin is, is very important. I think we've got local talent, small entrepreneurs, businesses, local organizations on the ground already doing this work across the city. And we really just want to invite them to downtown in mm -hmm. these spaces to do that, and they're already attracting traffic. And so when they're bringing this to downtown, you, you begin to see the foot traffic increase in the areas that they're activating. So what we're beginning to see is that when we're utilizing these spaces, we're inviting the community in, they're throwing these events and, and making these activations happen, the foot traffic increases, mm -hmm. therefore improving the safety and overall comfort of the area, and it's making it more of a desirable place and a destination to come and visit. Okay, and right now we know that you all already have a longer term activation in store, in store. something happening in the summer, what is that? Well, we have an artist residency, which okay. is more of a six week um, mm -hmm. uh, artist residency opportunity where the artists will be able to, we'll do a call for artists, and then we'll have the artists come in to different studio spaces within the actual site and we'll have them work on art and then toward the end of the six-week residency they'll have an exhibition to kind of showcase their artwork and be able to sell their artwork get visibility how folks will come out and see what they've created so we've got a little bit of a short term right now happening but we want to look at longer term uh, six week to maybe two month residencies to see how uh, we can develop a program in that way and then also in the long term maybe six to twelve months as mm -hmm. the year as we do proof of concept yeah. of the actual program. Okay and I know it just launched today but yeah. wh what's the timeline in your head when do you think that we'll start seeing some of these creatives and businesses move in? Yeah so I think today was a launch UFCU is doing a small business fair today we're really excited about it they're gonna come in for about a day or two and do their small business fair and then after that we'll do our actual official launch party next week on okay. Thursday which you can come in and learn a little bit more about the program learn a little bit more about the po folks interested in becoming activators and also property owners that want to uh, to participate in the program and then in the long term you'll start to see more folks getting on the website applying providing their proposal and seeing how they can activate the space we have a small um, review process that we go in we pick the activators we plug them in on the dates and so the next three to four months you'll begin to see a wealth of different activations downtown mm. at this specific location. Okay, Raisin McIntosh, thank you so much. And it was a lot of information, yes. so we'll put that on our website. Please do. Yes, at kxan.com. Thank you again for coming Thanks, in. Thanks, Jennifer. Coming up, local buying power versus